Hey everybody, Unreal Engine 5.6.0 Preview is now available for everyone to easily install via the Epic Launcher, so go ahead and grab that. And I just thought I'd share one of the new features that's available for the motion design users. If we go into the Unreal Engine 5.6, we now have NDI input as well as output that is natively part of the Unreal Engine package. Uh, to activate that, we just go to Edit and Plugins, and of course, search for NDI. And you'll see the NDI Media plugin is available, and you'll want to activate that. Now, here the text says implements media output using NDI protocol, but it turns out that as of 5.6, it now also supports input. So let's take a look at how to use the input. I'll go ahead and close my plugins and create an NDI source asset. So we just right click on Content Browser, go to Media, and choose NDI Media Source, which is available along with output when that. NDI Media plugin is activated. So I'll choose Source, and I'll just call this NDI Test Pattern, since that's what I'll be feeding, and Control S, save that, and then double click to open it. Now, when I double click, I'm opening the properties of this asset, and the main thing we want to adjust is the NDI configuration. This is what video feed to essentially listen to. Now, what we're doing here is I'm just running the NDI Test Pattern app, so if I were to bring over my NDI monitor, I can see the output of this live. And if I click on the little hamburger menu, I can see that I've got that my GeForce is the actual screen, there's a remote connection, and I've got test pattern. That's the one that I want to get into Unreal. And with NDI Monitor, I can see it's live by switching between these different uh, patterns. And Monitor is shifting live. And so that's what I want to see in Unreal. So let's put the Monitor away and the test pattern away for now. And so under Configuration, I'm just going to go ahead and select, well, here's my desktop. And test pattern is the NDI feed from that desktop that I want to tune into. So I'll click Apply and close that, and maybe Control shift s to save the changes now in order to use this feed on assets in a level what i'll need to do is use a media player that ingests the feed and applies it to a texture that we can then use on actors so i'll right click here and go again to media and i'm going to choose a media player and I will indeed activate the video output media texture asset. I could do this manually later, but take all the help I can get and use the automatic asset generator here and just click that on and say OK. And I will call this NDI test pattern player. And when I hit enter, it also generates a media texture for that. All right, so Control Shift S to save those assets. Double click on the media player. And here at the bottom, we see our available media sources. And I can double click on NDI test pattern. And now that test pattern is coming in. So I can set this aside. And if I go to my test pattern app, as I change test patterns, I'm seeing those change live in the Unreal Engine media player. So now we want to put this to use in an asset in a level, of course. So let's move these out of the way. I do have to keep the media player open for in-editor work. So this is actively ingesting the feed and writing it out to this texture asset. So I don't want to close this window. I'm just going to set that aside for now. And I'll just double click on our 2D shape for a rectangle to put this texture onto. So double click and there's my rectangle. I'll bring that up. Maybe I'll bring it a little bit closer here. And then we have some other new features in uh, 5.6. If we scroll down in the details for this rectangle, under Material Source Simple, we have Solid and Gradient, which we had before. But now we have a texture that we can select directly here. So I'll click on Texture. And I'll drag my NDI texture into that slot. And now the NDI is being displayed there. The only thing is that the UV layout of the rectangle doesn't quite match the aspect ratio of this feed. This is uh, 16 by 9, and this is 16 by 9, but we're kind of mapped for a square texture. And we have a nice convenient button here called Size to Texture. And I could click on that. And what we've done now is added a modifier to the rectangle so that it will automatically size to the aspect ratio of whatever texture is being fed into it. So this is a new modifier in 5.6. We've now added that. And uh, we are all set. So at this point with this here, maybe I'll activate this as an unlit material so it's a little bit more vivid. 
and I should be able to bring in my test pattern generator and switch test patterns and we're seeing that live in the level. So if we're doing uh, green screen compositing or end display for an LED wall, these NDI feeds can then display in those formats and I'll just have to spend a little time putting together a more in-depth tutorial on using all of that. But hopefully this gets you started and uh, gets you to try something new in the uh, 5.6 preview and uh, looking forward to covering some more in the near future. I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.